Hi, and welcome to our first tutorial on ProPresenter 4, brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this first tutorial, I'm just going to simply cover uh, loading in the example motion backgrounds that you received when you signed up for your ProPresenter demo uh, download. So, real simple, I'm going to open up my my resources library here, my tutorial resources, and as you can see, I do already have uh, these backgrounds loaded in here. For just the sake of the training here, I'm going to remove them, and I'm going to remove that guy as well. And let's see here, I think I had uh, um, standard definition, that's actually a still one. This guy I'm going to remove. And I think that's it. We have, oh, and the red one as well. So there we go. I'm going to delete those guys. Okay. Yes. And yes. Okay, real simple. And now I'm going to go ahead and load these in. Now, uh, real quick to, to talk about the different uh, aspect ratios and sizes. What we have here is an HD version. And let me kind of bump up these thumbnails here. There we go. Just drag this over. Uh, this is our HD version, 10, uh, 1280 by 720. That's the uh, the resolution of this background. This background is a 1024 by 768 standard definition, more of a square. So this is widescreen, standard screen. And then we have some motion backgrounds as well. We have uh, the 720p, which is our widescreen. Uh, backgrounds are, are HD 1280 by 720 is the resolution and, uh, and also we can kind of do a little quick play here you can see what that looks like and then let's back up here and go to our 480p our 480p is six uh, what is that 640 by 480 and uh, and I recommend for both of the motion backgrounds to use the MOV version not the WMV this is for our Windows customers so Windows customers that are using like Easy Worship or Media Shot would use the WMV. That's native to Windows. This is native to uh, Mac OS X platforms, and it's H.264. So it's a very high resolution encoding as well. So it looks really nice and clean on your projection screen. All right, so it's real simple to load these in. I can just simply uh, hold down the Command key and select both of them, and I can drag them right into my library. Okay, so now I have, let's see, I have that guy loaded and that guy loaded into my library. Let me switch back over to my um, window here and I'm going to load this guy. So I'm gonna pull him in here. Okay, and it's gonna load it into the top there. And then also my standard definition as well. Okay, and then I can verify that everything's working good. This is, uh, of course, my, uh, stand, my, my, sorry, my HD version here. And this is my standard definition. As you can see, it's cropped on the sides. I have my screen set up here to be the uh, the 720 screen for my output. And, uh, and then what you can also do to kind of get more detailed information on each one of these backgrounds is you can switch it to table view instead of thumbnail. So what table view will give you is a couple of things. So it'll give you the format, so H.264, as you can see there, JPEG, so these are obviously still backgrounds, right? And, uh, and then also I can just uh, expand this out here. Oops, I think I've already expanded it out enough. Yeah, that's as far as that's going to go. Okay, that's fine. Well, uh, what this is going to let us know is that um, we're dealing with movies. I can sort them by movies or I can sort them by stills. So I have all my movie clips here. I can also go to search and I can type in MOV. Okay. And if I type in MOV, it will only pull up my motion clips. I can type in, oh, let's see here, uh, dot .jpg and it will only pull up my JPEGs. So that's a quick way of doing it. I can only pull up my Worship Media Pro background by just typing in WMP um, since I have that as kind of a normal uh, you know, standard setting here. In the beginning, I always put WMP, so there you go. And I also sort by HD or SD, so I can type in SD, and there we go, I'll pull up an SD there. Or I can do uh, 480, and I can pull up a 480 movie. Or I can do 720, and I can pull up all my 720 clips. So real simple to sort through your backgrounds. And then also, let me go ahead and clear that out there. I can hide this by going up to my, my video and images, 
or I can show it. I can also show the audio side. We're gonna get into all that in the other tutorials, but for now, I'm just talking about loading backgrounds. Another thing that's really cool is, uh, so we got this background here, uh, really nice. It's uh, moving through its cycle here. Uh, let's see here, let's go back to that guy. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to properties. Kind of getting ahead of myself, but this is just so super cool. You notice how it's a, it's a pretty good flow. Uh, let's say I wanna bump up the rate, make it just a little bit more faster, or maybe it's kind of a more upbeat uh, song that we're, we're, um, uh, we're singing to and we just wanna maybe add a little bit more quicker motion to it. I can even get a little bit crazy here and, and start to, to change the coloring of this, right? So I can make this like a more of a purple or I can make it more of a green. Uh, and then I can save this, okay? And now when I, when I click on this guy, there you go, it's faster and it's kind of this green um, saturation. I can go back in here and I can say, uh, Oh, let's see here. I can do reset all and I can drop this back down to, to one and I can go back and re-click on it and then it's back to normal again. So that's just a quick little tip. Of course, we're going to talk more about that. We're also going to talk about how to uh, create your library of songs, where to get your songs, whether it be song select or inputting them yourself, grabbing your Bible verses, creating a schedule so you're queuing up all your songs and Bible verses and, and maybe the, uh, the pastor's um, presentation as well you might have in here, sermon notes, whatever it might be. We're going to talk about that in the rest of our training series. This is just a simple get you started and, uh, and on your way to using ProPresenter. I hope you have a great time learning how to use it. This is a wonderful, powerful tool. God bless.